so in this session we are going to learn about HL7 MSH14 which is nothing but continuation pointer they are good enough questions which we are getting from continuation pointer in HL7 certification exam and it is even uh, very important in interview questions if someone asked you to solve so we'll go to some sample HL7 messages and paste it in the HL7 soup you can see this is one of the biggest message which I pasted so it is very very tough to process so what if the message is so much big that the sending application or receiving application is unable to receive it at a one go so what we'll do we'll split the message and send it for example what I'll do I'll just keep control new so if there's an MSH segment EVN PID okay yeah PID so what I'll do I'll split it out okay I'll split it out and again I'll send the rest of the OBX, OBR and Z, Z, X, C random segments so I'm taking a very simple example in real time it would be very big so for the understanding purpose I'm just taking a simple example so to link between this and this we are creating another segment known as DSC segment which has some crucial data in it the number for example 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 and again there will be a same MSA segment over here okay which in the MSH 14 field it will be 1 2 3 so the receiving system understands okay the message has been ended over here with the DAC segment means there is still a lot of message to continue and the next message which has been received by receiving system will use this number in the continuation pointer which is nothing but MSH4 so I can check it over here there is no continuation pointer but yeah yeah continuation pointer over here and it will see if it is matching okay it will process the message and the complete output message will be looking like this so I'll remove everything yep the receiving system receives again in this format it's all about splitting the message and sending it so we'll take one example so what is continuation pointer if you ask me one question split and send so we'll take one good example over here so you might be confused what all these things I'm a little bit confused don't be uh, confused I'll just split for you okay ting ting and again I'll split for you over here so this is a MSH segment and this is some random A segment and B segment it's just like an example you can keep whatever you want okay just another random segment and they wanted to send other parts of segment like after A B they wanted to send C D also so I will highlight for your understanding A B and C D okay and they are going to send E so they are only going to send this highlighted part but because the message was big they introduce something known as DSC segment so we are going to learn about DSC segment in future it's just used for this purpose and over here they are going to give some code what is this code this code is nothing but the continuation pointer which we are discussing in the MSH 14 so again they are going to send the rest of the message with MSH because any message is processed with the first segment known as MSH so they cannot send C and D directly so in the next trigger they are again going to send the MSA segment but what we, they will do in the MSH 14 they are going to attach this particular part as a code to identify that this is a part of the first message what will happen the receiving system will understand okay by this code if we have this continuation pointer means the previous message uh, continuation is this particular message so you should attach from C and D over here now to make it more interesting in this example they they have used another D segment what is this again it's a continuation pointer which is nothing but the MSH 14 so again they want to send E but, but because they cannot send only the E segment without using any MSH they again used MSH you can see over here perfect again they use this particular code which is nothing but continuation pointer to continue it the final message would be something like this so in real time you won't see all this DSC, MSC and everything the final message would be something like this at the receiving end 
Okay. Receiving end. This is the receiving end. And this is the sending end. So that simple uh, is the concept of a continuation pointer and you might wonder you will not be able to find continuation pointer in all the HL7 messages. It's only there when it is required. For example, it's there is something known as control D continuation pointer. So it's not the continuation pointer. I just gave it uh, for time being. So it will be blank in most of the messages only where there is a use of this DSC segment and we are going to split the segments only the continuation pointer is used. So it is very very simple and uh, easy to understand the continuation pointer concept. So you might be asking when what is the scenario there will be such a large message. So for the fields and uh, segments it is uh, already we have a template but if there is any detailed clinical document or explanation by a physician on some critical condition the maximum length of a single seg segment would exceed it can be 1000 characters like 5000 characters it can exceed it can exceed a lot I just took some random uh, event over here but it can exceed to 10-15 pages okay in that time the continuation pointer plays a vital role so there is a reason behind uh, for everything every field and segment why it is created those are not at all uh, dummy values majorly when you ask me about MSH each and every field has uh, a specific use so it is very important to learn uh, continuation pointer DHC segments you will get a lot of questions in uh, the certification so here uh, you might find something interesting so what is there be before continuation pointer uh, I go to MSH4 okay you can see uh, there is continuation pointer and what is it before continuation pointer sequence number we learned about sequence number selling that uh, the message is going to send being sent in one particular sequence and it has a number when we go to our example you can see the sequence number is 1 to 3 and again the sequence number is 1 to 4 and again the sequence number is 1 to 5 even this is going to say us that uh, the message is in the sequence so we are we are not receiving something like 1 to 3 1 to 5 again 1 to 4 so even this will uh, tell the receiving system that the sequence is different and we need to alter the sequence again so everything is very important in HL7 so here we conclude the session so this uh, particular uh, concept will be explained thoroughly in next uh, videos once after we uh, continue telling the important fields of each and every segment and we'll be discussing more about uh, uh, certification questions exams and patterns